Hello, everybody. This is Chris. Um, in the past, I was trying to do like maybe like a CMS for Laravel and something like that. I've been looking for something new to use, and uh, I found this. This is, I think, this is the only pre-made, you know, custom CMS built on Laravel. So if you see, if you look here, it's built on Laravel, PHP 3.2, and Twitter Bootstrap, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I've never used it before. I've never even tried to install it, so this is going to be a learning experience for both of all of us because, like I said, I've never tried to. I know here it has the install instructions. I can't actually use this because something with my open SSL and WAMP server, it just doesn't, even if I have it set to be on, it just doesn't want to work. So I've, I've tried to install Bootstrapper, which is a plugin for Laravel. Which is like a boot, boot in, built in bootstrap API, and uh, that's not worked. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this one by uh, manually by hand instead of using the installer. So let's see. First things first, is I'm going to go ahead and pop on over to Laravel and grab an installation of Laravel. So I'll just download this. And it looks like it's downloaded. It is. I'm just going to grab this and copy it. Throw it into let's go to my computer, local disk, WAMP, www. And I have so many projects in here that I've worked on. Hmm. I'm just going to do a new folder and just call it Pongo. First, I'm just going to set up Laravel and make sure that everything's working. So, I'm just pasting in the Laravel installation here. I'm mad. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, grab Notepad here. And sorry about that. It's, I need to open this in administrator mode here. Notepad runs administrator. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up so I can run a development server. So I'm gonna go ahead and open what's it giving me here? You see some of my videos visual studio stuff. Uh go down here Windows System thirty two drivers, etc. Show all files. Grab the host file, open that, open that with Notepad, and 127.0.0.1. I'm going to call it just pongo.dev. So pongo.dev, so copy that, file, save, file, open. Go back down here to the computer. Go on to WAMP, bin, Apache, Apache 2.2, config, extra, all files. Grab this vhost file. Open it. Hmm. File open. WAMP, bin, I didn't know why it wouldn't open it. Big, extra, all files. There we go. I'm just going to grab this. Paste it in here. Just call this Pongo public. Pongo.dev. Save that. Good here. No server is up yet, so let's go ahead and start WAMP. It's green, so let's go to pongo.dev and see if we get. A 
our level. Yep. So there, we have effectively start set up a development environment. So let's go ahead and download Pongo here. So there we have it. I'm just going to grab all of this, copy it, go back into my folder here for Pongo, and go into bundles, and get rid of the docs folder here. Create a new folder called CMS. So CMS. I'm going to hit paste and just paste in everything that was in the Pongo download. So this almost finished up. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to open Laravel. I'm going to open Sublime Text 2. Do some stuff on that. Because I know there's something we have to put into the bundles.php file, which is right here. So here we have here. This one says unregistered, even though it is registered. I'm on a different account on my computer. So. grab this and drag Pongo into there. I don't need that anymore. Bundles, don't need that. And public bundles, it's not there. Where is that bundles piece we file? Application bundles, so application bundles. Okay, so now we're going to grab all of this, copy it, and throw it into here. Okay, so now that's done. Let's go ahead and can you setting up. Now URL is going to be http shift colon forward slash Now I'm wondering, I wonder if I can just go ahead and go pongo dot dev. I wonder. All right, we can get rid of the index because we're using mod rewrite. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this key right here and establish our own. So I'm using git shell here. I'm just gonna cd into it. So cd c colon backslash www www pongo and in here we're just going to say php artisan key generate okay so that's done everything else is fine we need to go in and set up a database for this thing so let's go in here to my just my PHP my admin and we'll create a new database. We'll also call it we'll just call it Pong. Create good. Go in here to database. I'm gonna use my SQL. Database name is gonna be Pong. So P O N G everything else is fine, we'll save that okay I believe that's everything that we really have to do let's just look from here so let's go ahead and try it so I'm just gonna hit type PHP artisan CMS set up.
So let's look at this thing here. Refresh, and ev evidently it works, because here we are. Let's go ahead and click here and log in. The admin is username is pa admin, password is admin. Okay, and there we go. Uh, we have a blog thing set up here, so this is a demo blog post. Let's open this up and see what this all looks like. Except like I've never used this before, so how can I see the page? Okay, so we're back out here. The blog post here. You got a bootstrap uh, pagination here, menu. So that's our first start. So I'm gonna mess around with this. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna do a series of tutorials on theming for Pongo, uh, because I'd rather I like Laravel so much I don't really want to use another framework, and I really don't want to reinvent the wheel. If this is going to be a good content management system then there's no sense in reinventing the wheel. I know it has uh, things for what is it called? Um, I'm trying to find it. So you're, you have your page management here. It allows roles. That's cool. Media, menu. I know it offers uh, multiple file upload which multiple picture upload in Laravel is just a pain in the neck right now. Hopefully they fix it in Laravel 4. So in this video we installed uh, an ins did an installation of Pongo CMS on a development server. Uh, this video helped you out. Go ahead and like it, share it, tell your friends about it. Uh, in the upcoming videos I'm going to work on theming for this. I'm really interested in seeing how the theming is going to work on here. So, like I said, stay tuned and uh, I'll be back with more videos.